Welcome to the ghetto. <laughs> My skin looks terrible, but hey guys, it is officially Monday, which means it is the start of this week's vlog. Um, I don't know what this week holds. I think it's gonna be a pretty slow week for me, but you know, if it's not, I'm gonna have my camera with me and you guys are gonna be there along the way. Even if it is, I'm gonna have my camera with me and I'm gonna take you guys along the way. So, yeah, I just wanted to say hi. How's it going? Welcome to this vlog. My name is Kim. Follow me on social media if you're feeling frisky. I do weekly vlogs and sometimes they suck, sometimes they don't. We'll see what this one holds. But it's currently Monday. It's late in the afternoon. It's 5 p.m. actually. And I've been up and about since like 8 a.m., 9 a.m. I actually was getting a lot of content done. So I filmed a YouTube video. I actually filmed this um a haul i bought all elf products to do a full face look like multiple full face looks so i just did this haul so that's what i was working on so i did that haul and then i did a tiktok or two and now i actually have some work i need to get done in terms of my marketing business so my social media stuff has been handled and now i'm going to go on to you know my marketing big girl work stuff so that's what i'm going to be doing but i wanted to say hey how's it going guys and actually i got this package in the mail from casetify and i wanted to go ahead and unbox it in front of you guys but i need to find my tripod i've been trying to become a part of the casetify affiliate program i'm working on that I'm, it'll go through. I feel pretty confident about it going through. But I went ahead and I made a purchase on there because I am going to be doing an updated what's on my iPhone um, video. And then maybe a couple months down the line, I'm going to do um, an updated phone case collection because I do have the new phone. I have the 11 Pro. So I have a bunch of new cases for it now and I'm slowly building a collection. So I feel like I am finally ready to maybe, you know, do a phone case collection video but i've been eyeballing this phone case for a really long time i've been wanting it for quite a while so i decided to go ahead and take the plunge okay so there's a small box and a big box i'm not sure i'm actually more curious as to what's in the small box oh cool oh that's so nice it literally comes with a ton of cleansing pads cleansing dry wipe and a cleansing wet wipe that's pretty awesome i actually really like that i'm gonna hold on to this and it came with so many it came with like it came with like 10 of them that's a nice surprise yeah so this is this i've never actually ordered anything from case defy before I've just been following them forever like I've heard about this brand for probably years at this point just never bought anything so I just have these little cards on the inside it's got these cute little cards on the inside that says thanks for choosing them and this is the case okay let me put it up against this so I absolutely love this case more so for the quote than the aesthetic but i just i do like the aesthetic i love orange i i got the green case the midnight green colored case because i have the midnight green foam so i want it to be a little bit darker but this is the case and i'm gonna read the quote to you it's a quote by off <laughs> oh it's a quote by f scott fitzgerald I don't know where I was going with the off, but um, off Scott Fitzgerald. It says, for what it's worth, it's never too late or in my case, too early to be whoever you want to be. There's no limit to stop. Just hold on. There's no time limit. Stop whenever you want. You can change or stay the same. There are no rules to this thing. We can make this the best or the worst of it. 
I hope you make the best of it. And I hope you see things that startle you. I hope you feel things you never felt before. I hope you meet people with a different point of view. I hope you live a life you're proud of. If you find that you're not, I hope you have the courage to start all over again. Like, I just think that quote is so beautiful. It's so inspiring. So yeah, this has a thing on it. I'm gonna pull that off. I just lo I love this quote. I think this quote is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna take a picture of it for the for Instagram. And I also changed my screensaver to orange to go with the aesthetic. And then I'm actually gonna I'm gonna do like my whole uh, watch on my iPhone. I'm because I have iOS 14. It's gonna be like a whole aesthetic thing. So I have like I'm setting up my home screen. So the background is gonna be orange. And then my uh, widgets are gonna be green to kind of go with this theme. I currently have the burger case on here. But as you see, like, I have the midnight green phone case. And I'm gonna. Perfect, huh? And it's kind of got this like squared off edge, so it's not rounded right here. So it feels cool in the hand it just feels so different than this one but it's super protective it's got definitely covering the entire screen it's got bumpers all around and the buttons are easy to press that's a key thing with me I hate when buttons are hard to press when you have a case on it but it's really easy I'm obsessed so this is my new phone case and whenever I just want to feel inspired I'm gonna look at this case Stunning. Let me clean my phone actually. I'm like, there's crumbs on the back. That's probably why they gave me a million and one wipes, you know, so I can wipe my phone. So I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna wipe my phone and then wipe the case. Wet wipe, wet wipe. Because also, you never know who touched it. Phones just need to be cleaned. You should be cleaning your phones fairly often. I'm gonna keep this case on for a long time. Like, I usually switch my cases out a lot, but I feel pretty at home with this one. So I'm probably gonna hold on to this one for a while. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Um, the rest of the day is gonna be really boring, um, just because I'm gonna be on my computer getting some work done. And yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys. I usually, even if nothing is happening that day, I usually don't like to let a day go by without at least saying hi. Which is funny, because like what if one day you just get a bunch of video, like a week long vlog of me just saying hi to you. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the update for today. Now, I know I said I wasn't gonna go anywhere, but I'm on a mission. So I actually need to go to the pharmacy and pick up um, a couple of my prescriptions they're both ready um, I had a bunch of doctor's appointments last week um, so yeah I need to go to the pharmacy and then I'm I've been really in the mood for ramen so I'm gonna go pick up some ramen and then come back home because I have to go to the pharmacy so since I'm gonna be out might as well you know have a little cute dinner for my favorite ramen place I'm gonna need some cash for sure but yeah so that's what i'm gonna be doing so i'll put you guys on a time lapse go watch me drive if that's cool and it's a flexible thing it's more like a blank slate so create it however it works for you there's absolutely no right or wrong way to do it i think the biggest thing is just complete it because knowing that it's done it shifts your being that alone like the magical part I love my like, friends. holy shit I did it so um, it will change it will evolve that's life um, but just start with it right and then you can start thinking with the end in mind and build from there so anyways again great job ladies and I'm just so proud of all of us cute hey guys so it is currently Tuesday afternoon it's about 3 p.m. my face is dry AF but I'm actually about to sit down and film a full face makeup routine with all e.l.f. products. So I'm, I, I'm about to actually do the face mask first. That's why my face looks crusty. And yeah, so I'm going to be using this camera to film. But I just wanted to... 
my camera died but I did just want to check into my vlog and just say hi to you guys even though I will be filming on this for the majority of the day maybe I'll use my phone to get some like behind the scenes stuff but I'm also gonna be using my phone to like make TikToks. so I don't know how that's gonna work but I am I'm about to do this uh, full face makeup using all elf products so I have the products here I'm gonna use I have some extras over here that I'm not gonna use won't get to those yet and then I was just doing my hair so that's what the, that's why that's there but this tray is basically I'm gonna be using all of these products these are all from elf and I did a complete haul on all of these too I will link that in this video but yeah, so I'm about to do this face mask. But first and foremost, I need to go ahead and uh, set up my camera area so I can uh, record everything. So I need to put my ring light up and all of that fun stuff. I think somebody's yelling outside. It is so ghetto. Okay, but yeah, so I'm going to be setting up my camera equipment. I got to put up my ring light and then I'm going to set up my tripod all in this little area right here. So I'm going to have to create my little studio moment so that's what i'm gonna do right now um and then i'm gonna go ahead and record i should probably charge this other battery in the meantime i have like three batteries but i feel like my camera has been dying at a normal rate but i've just been using my camera a lot i like somebody's just yelling you hear her it is so ghetto she's just sitting on the curb I don't think she's homeless but I do think she's up to no good yo she's big mad but it's like, I literally can't understand what she's saying. She's like chewing her words or not finishing the complete words. So like, I can't even make out what she's saying. But she's like saying a oh, full conversation to herself. She literally sounds like a... It's like, you know, okay. Like you can hear her. I made out some words. But you know what it... You know how when those um, auctioneers speak... It's like you kind of can't really tell what they're saying, but you know they're saying things. That's exactly what she sounds like. Cause she was just saying a bunch of numbers and like, girl, you sound like an auctioneer. She's sitting on the curb with a Powerade and a bag and her sunglasses. Oh, she's, she's leaving. Like, I don't know who or what made her so mad, but I think she just needed a vent. Like, I think she literally just was like venting to herself in the middle of the street, but like, whatever. Ghetto. Welcome to the ghetto. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and maybe I'll set you guys here while I go ahead and set up my um, recording situation. This lighting. Why don't I ever film here? I should do TikToks, like right here. My tits look great. All right, but um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on time lapse. I actually have lipstick all over my cheeks, but I'm done with filming content for the day. So now I am gonna get some more work done on my computer and then I need to edit and upload that vlog that's gonna be uploading tomorrow. So I haven't even edited it and I'm gonna try to edit it and upload it tonight. It's currently 9 p.m. So, you know, night's still kind of fresh usually it takes me like two to three hours to edit these vlogs and i think if i'm not mistaken this last vlog i actually did stuff so there's stuff to really edit um but yeah so i'm gonna need to start thinking about dinner soon while i edit that but i am done with my content for the day that took a lot longer than i thought which it always does so i don't know why i'm surprised that i say that every time um yeah so I have nothing planned for tomorrow, so, you know, 
we'll see. Just gonna keep getting more work done. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, it is currently Thursday at 2.30 in the afternoon. I am on my way over to a fitness center, a gym. Uh, I'm potentially going to be meeting with my, or I'm gonna be meeting with my new potential client for my marketing agency. So I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna have a meeting and just kind of meet each other for the first time and talk about, you know, business and stuff. But that's what I have planned. And then after that, I am going over to my friend's house. We're doing like a little sip and swap. So we're gonna have some wine, have some snacks, and we're all bringing clothing that we don't want anymore. And we're just kind of all put them together and then just kind of shop around in each other's clothing, basically. And that'll be really fun. So that's pretty much what I have planned for today. And I will see you guys later. I don't know where I'm gonna take you guys with me today, but I just wanted to let you know what I was doing today. And if you're missing out, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I need to get over. But yeah, I will see you guys a little bit later. Bye. Hey guys, it is Saturday. It's 12.36 p.m. And I'm on my way to the dance studio because I actually uh, booked a gig last minute. It's gonna be for tonight, but um, I feel like I could tell you guys what it is because this won't come out for two weeks. Because right now, I'm not supposed to say anything, but they said it's okay to say stuff after the event, which will be tonight, and y'all won't see this. So, I got a really fun gig to, um, be, to dance to WAP at Cardi B's birthday party. So, I'm really excited about that actually like who'd have thought you know i'm like so grateful i was able to get a gig in the middle of a pandemic but yeah so basically it's like cardi b's birthday party tonight and um so i think offset is gonna surprise her with a car which i'm a little curious as to how that goes because i thought they weren't together anymore but so how is supposedly from what i know offset got cardi a car for her birthday and so they hired a marching band and some dancers, me being one of them, to uh, dance and play WAP while he like presents the car to her. Like literally just so exciting. It's gonna be like a two minute performance, but I do have to be at the venue for a very long time, for a few hours. So I'll just kind of be chilling there until it's time for me to do my, what I need to do. But, so that's the gig for tonight. I got this, literally I got the text about this yesterday. Thankfully, I mean, I have nothing to do, so I'm like totally available and down to do it because I need the money. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm heading to the studio now so that we can kind of choreograph something for later. It's up to us to come up with it, so it's gonna be super easy, super relaxed, and I'm excited because I just, I'm just so excited to get to dance and be, in the presence of other people. I've been in Cardi's presence before. Like, honestly, I've been in the same room as Cardi B at least five times in my life. I've never personally met her, but I've worked before her at like, I've worked at so many events for her as a dancer, as a model. It's crazy, it's so funny to me how I, I keep running into Cardi. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm on my way to the studio and then I'm just gonna be there till for like an hour. And then after that, it, the, I don't have to be there till 11 p.m. So I'm gonna come back home and I have some writing I need to get done. I have a proposal I need to do. I'm really grateful because right now, this is probably the best week for me in terms of my personal businesses and brands. Like I finally have marketing work. I finally have writing work. Stuff that I you know, have been focusing on since the pandemic because I can't dance. I can't, I can't live off of dancing. Like you see, I have this one gig tonight, but like this is the first gig I have been offered. Well, not really. I've been doing stuff, but it's not reliable. I can't rely on it to pay my bills. So right now I am, you know, I've got my toe in a bunch of pots, so to say. So like I've got my eggs in a lot of different baskets. So I have a blog I need to write later. I have um, a proposal I need to send to a marketing client. And I have some videos to edit for my friends that they pay me for. So I just really have a lot to do in the next like three days. And I know I can get it done. So I'm excited. 
but yeah so i just wanted to check in with you guys because tomorrow is probably going to be a little bit hectic depending on how tomorrow goes i was supposed to have the studio but i'm not sure if i will anymore if i do have the studio i'll take you guys there with me and i'll do that from like 12 to 4 but if i the studio uh situation doesn't happen tomorrow i'll postpone it so tomorrow i'll just be indoors editing which will not be fun for you guys but we'll see we'll we'll cross that bitch bridge when we get there i think i could probably record some stuff tonight too i'm just not allowed to post it till after the event but this video will be up two weeks after this, that this event has happened so it's okay anyways i have been rambling for four minutes and i'm over that so i'll see you guys later hey guys Oof, i am back in the car my chest hurts i we just finished rehearsal super quick we got everything done within a good amount of time we were able to collab and we came up with choreography for the song later so now the only thing left is we're gonna get to the venue around 11 p.m the event doesn't start till midnight but we're gonna get there at 11 so that way we can practice with the band because we'll be dancing with uh, to a live band so we're gonna like figure that logistics out and then i don't think we perform till like 2 30 in the morning to be completely honest so we've got a lot of time it'll be really good so now i'm actually just gonna go over to walmart because i need to get a black um what do i need i need a black mask I need a plain black face mask. I don't have a plain black one. Um, and the black one that I do have, it's a little too small. So I need one that's a little bit more coverage. Just so that we can kind of stay in uniform for tonight. Even if they tell us we don't have to wear masks, we're still going to wear masks anyway. Just for protection, you know. Um, better safe than sorry. But yeah, it's going to be exciting because it's like we don't know who's going to be there. And it's Cardi's birthday party. So like as Cardi's friends, you know, I'm excited to see. But yeah, so I'm going to head over to Walmart now. And then I'm going to go. Um, I have one more stop to make. I think I'm going to go to the, the dispensary at some point. And then I'm going to go back home and get as much work done as possible before I have to get ready for tonight. So if I, hopefully I can get home by like 3 p.m. It's 2 o'clock now. I get home at three that gives me i'll probably start getting ready at like nine o'clock 8 30 probably like nine o'clock so i get home at three that gives me a cute six hours to get a lot of work done from Cardi B's birthday party, funny enough. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my makeup off as I tell you guys the story because I am currently heating food up in the toaster oven. It's 4.40 in the morning, by the way. Just throw that information out there. But yeah, so basically, tonight I had a gig to perform at Cardi B's birthday party. And so what it was, was that Offset bought her a Rolls for her birthday. And so basically, like, we were the presentation for her car. So, like, we come in and we're with a marching band. So we're, like, dressed in, like, our, like marching band outfit, but, like, we made it sexy as the dancers. There's three, uh, three girls and we were the dancers. So we, like, made it sexy. 
and the guys in the band were like you know playing their instruments so they play the instruments we kind of walk in with them dance a little bit and then the car rolls in behind us and then like that's you know that's a birthday present first of all like the thing was well i've worked at gigs with cardi before like i've actually never really personally met her but i've worked multiple gigs it's probably my fifth time working for cardi technically it's kind of funny but um yeah so you know she's usually just like stuff with her never runs on time you know she'd be late just and then also it's like it's a big event you know it's just many moving parts so we were out we went on an hour later than we were supposed to which is fine we got paid for that extra hour it's just kind of sucks because you know it's four o'clock in the morning but you know what else do i have to really do at in, in this pandemic you know i really needed that money and it's just a cool opportunity but the only thing was that you know with live entertainment you just never know how anything's gonna go so it was just funny because we ha like we had rehearsal earlier today we came up with choreography and like all this stuff and we were like stressing out about choreography like pretty intensely you know we really wanted to get the routines down when we got in there we literally like we're walking in and the band is playing and Cardi's like right there so like she just started walking towards us so then all of her friends started walking towards us so we literally just like bum rushed each other so we didn't even get to do our routine because everyone I was literally just like in this crowd of people which was already giving me like slight anxiety attack because not everyone was wearing masks But I was really glad I was wearing a mask, you know, just like, cause we were wearing masks. We didn't want to risk it, but it was just like crazy. It was like all, you know, these people at this party is not really wearing a mask. Some people are, not everyone, but we just got bum rushed by Cardi and her posse. And then they went to the car. And so we were just kind of like playing and dancing around the car and like dance with a few of the guests and all of that. It was pretty cool. But yeah, we were in and out in like three minutes. So we pretty much just spent all the time waiting but i mean that's fine we got paid out like per hour so you know i made money not doing i made money taking a nap in my car like literally but so that's how that was and it was cool yeah i saw meg the stallion also this is my second time seeing her i've run into her i've worked because i worked in in the nightclub industry here in vegas so I um I worked at the, one of the clubs that Meg came to, so yeah, that's that story. It went well, you know. It's just it wasn't what we were expecting, but it kind of also worked out for us a little bit easier because we then we just got to freestyle. I didn't have to worry about this choreo again, you know. Even though I was like stressing out about it, not really low key, but kind of, you know. But that's how that went and now I'm just happy to be home. I'm heating up some food in the toaster oven that I had from earlier. And I'm gonna go to bed because I actually do need to go to the studio tomorrow. I'm supposed to go at noon. At this rate, I'm not gonna go to bed till like 5.30 at least. So I'm gonna try to push it another hour and maybe go at like one. So that's the plan suck it up tomorrow's gonna be i'll probably be a little bit tired tomorrow because i have a long day I have a lot of stuff i need to get done tomorrow and just like the lack of sleep might do me in but i haven't like done this since the pandemic started so i feel like you know i have the energy to miss a day or two of you know like proper sleep i've done it before when i haven't been doing anything so i'm gonna be hanging out at the studio by myself tomorrow getting some content done and all of that for all of the social medias y'all know how it be but either way i'm just happy af i got paid tonight it was beautiful i you know make money where you can these days because it's so hard to find anything especially as a performer like you know the entertainment industry is taking a big hit but if anyone wants to know or cares i'm using um micellar cleansing water to take off my makeup because i don't feel like washing my face um 
this is the signature care brand i think this is like smith's or kroger um like their off brand but usually l'oreal um no just kidding garnier makes a really good one um like a like the more quality one this one works just fine it was cheaper and i got a lot i've been using this for a while now um but this is what i use to take off my makeup it works really well especially if i have on liquid lipstick this is the only thing that can actually take liquid lipstick off easily um but yeah so that's what that is and then i'm gonna just put on my curology so that way i don't have any you know breakouts that are unnecessary I've been using this for maybe a couple of years now and I honestly it's, it works even if I have breakouts still every now and then it's nowhere near what what it used to be at all you know so Curology works if you're interested if you've ever thought about it I love it you know it's worth it I think it's worth it if you have bad skin you know like you honestly would pay anything to get clear skin it's worth it I would just say you have to give it time it took three months maybe for me to see results it actually got worse before it got better so you know hang in there all right I'm tired my food is about to be ready so I'm gonna continue getting undressed and ready for bed take all this uh, stuff off of me and relax and fall asleep at my leisure so that's that's that i just wanted to update you guys you know on how tonight went it was cool got to see meg the stallion well, i would say though because i saw meg when she was leaving and homegirl was lit lit because we it was like four o'clock in the morning at this point the party started at 10 at 10 so everybody was so drunk by the time we saw them like meg was leaving like she walked past us left drunk af and you know like so many people were drunk so many but you know it's a party it's a party for cardi for cardi but that was the closest I'd ever actually been to her. She was literally right here to me. She walked past me. I was like, oh, she was in this beautiful gold outfit. But honestly, so much was happening. So many people were coming at me that I just, I saw her, but like I didn't look at her because there was literally just a sea of people coming towards us because they saw the car and then they're like, oh, well, at first they didn't see the car. The car didn't wasn't there at first. At first they bum rushed us, but then because Cardi started dancing, because we came in playing WAP, so obviously it was lit. So she started twerking on the floor. So we're just like hyping her up basically, and everyone crowded around her. And that's when it just we like spread out. And then the car came in, and then everyone just kind of like focused on the car. So like we honestly didn't even need to be there. Um, nobody really knew we were there because it was just we were in the crowd we could have just taken our jackets off and we could have probably blended in with the party but i didn't want to because it was late that night because a lot of people left too right before we went in a lot of people so it was just like that awkward part of the night that you know not everyone was there but it was also nice because it kind of took that pressure off that everybody was drunk and like, you know, we didn't have to be perfect, even though we didn't get really a chance to do the choreography. That's fine. I will see you guys tomorrow at the studio. Hopefully bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. This gonna be bushy for show. For show! So it kind of just dawned on me that I never really updated my vlog today. I've been recording a lot of other YouTube videos on my camera, so I think it just like slipped my mind that I also use this camera for vlogging purposes. But I just wanted to check in with you guys because it is Sunday, which means it is the last day of this week's vlog. And tomorrow will be the start of a new one. I can't really remember how much I vlogged this week. I think I have some on my phone. So I need to go on there and look. But like, I can't, truly can't even remember if I vlogged a lot or like is this vlog going to be interesting at this point editing Kim will know but like real life Kim in this moment Kim has no idea 
So I'm like, I, what did I do this week? I did have an interesting week, but I didn't vlog everything. That's what I'm trying to say. Because last night, the whole Cardi B, I'm like, I met Cardi B and Meg The Stallion last night. Like, how crazy. But, yeah. I was just at the studio for the last four hours getting some content. I got two YouTube videos done. And, yeah, so I was productive. YouTube videos take such a long time to film. Um, and then I got, I did some TikToks. I did some photo shoots. Like, I, I got a lot of content. I was hoping to get enough for the next few days. And then I have, I'm going to meet up with my friend on Tuesday to create more content. So that's going to be exciting. But, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys and see how you were doing. I think right now it's 5 o'clock. I have a lot of work to get done and a part of me feels like I would probably be a little bit more productive if I went and worked at like a cafe or something, but I'm actually not so sure. Maybe I'll go to a cafe for like an hour or two, get some work done and then go home and then continue to work because I have a lot of work I need to get done by tonight and I'm a little upset because I wanted to upload a video today. Uh, October 11th for a Sunday video I have the footage I just never got the time to edit it and I want it to be good so I'm not gonna half-ass edit it and then get it up tonight I want to really edit it well so I don't know I'm maybe contemplating either posting two videos on Wednesday or waiting till next Sunday but then it just kind of pushes off the schedule that I had planned because I have a lot of videos to get out and I want to keep a schedule but also drag it out a little bit because it's hard to create so much content. So I like that I like that I have a few weeks worth. I just have to edit all of them and that just takes forever. But yeah, so I have a lot of work to get done. So maybe I'll go to the cafe for like an hour and then I'll go home. Just kind of change of pace, change of scenery a little bit. Because I mean, I just don't feel like I'm as productive at home. You feel me? Like, do I want to go home? Let's see if the cafe I want to go to is open. Okay, yeah, I think it wouldn't hurt. I'm going to go to the cafe for about an hour, maybe more, depending on how I'm feeling when I'm there. Uh, I'm running on a little sleeve, so I think it'll be a good time to re-up on my caffeine. Maybe I'll get, like, a chai or something. Something with a little bit of caffeine in it. Oh. 